Dada Art, father of pop art. How is art defined? How can such a broad subject be categorized? Is it beauty, propaganda, expression? Why is it that art has such an incredible impact on individuals of all societies, all over the world, throughout all of man's history? Art is constantly evolving, moving alongside technological innovations, coursing through social evolutions, swirling around imagination. It is from this constant flow of artistic evolution that one form, a very controversial and American form known as pop art, emerged in the 1960s from a British form of art known as Dada, which was created in the 1920s after a rough war period. For their time periods, this, much of the subject matter was highly controversial, clashing with traditional values and styles. The figurehead of all pop art pieces is arguably the Campbell soup can. The following image is by an artist, Andy Warhol. Warhol is the most well-known pop artist. His influence and style is still considered and revered today. Others like him include Roy Lichtenstein, Jasper Johns, and Tom Wesselman. But before all of these American artists were popular, before them, the term pop art was even coined, Dada existed. Dadaism was the anti-art movement. It began in Zurich, Switzerland. It was a cultural movement that was a protest against the bourgeoisie, nationalist, and colonialist interests of World War I. It was expressed through art. Dada represented everything that art was not because it wanted to break away from the traditional artistic values and portray the pain and agony that people were going through due to the war. Dadaists hoped to destroy traditional culture and aesthetics. The key players of the Dada movement were in 1916, and their names were Hugo Ball, M. Emmy Hennings, Tristan Zara, Jean Arp, Marcel Janko, Richard Husselnbach, Sophie Tober, Man Ray, Marcel Duchamp, Raoul Haussmann, Wer, and Hans Richter. Tristan, Zara, and Marcel Janko were Jewish modernists, and they were the very first ones who began Dada in Zurich. For these artists, the use of, of abstraction was a weapon against the social, political, and cultural. It was considered socialist, anti-war, and overall anti-authority in nature. The most controversial anti-art piece of pop art is The Holy Virgin Mary by Chris Ophelia. Ophelia painted the Black Virgin Mary and threw pieces of elephant dung at the portrait. He displayed this during the Sensation ex Exhibition in the Brooklyn Museum of Art in 1999. The city of New York and Mayor Rudolph Giuliani brought a court case against the Brooklyn Museum. Giuliani described the exhibition of Ophelia's work as sick and disgusting. He attempted to withdraw the annual $7 million City Hall grant from the museum and threatened it with eviction. The museum resisted Giuliani's demands and its director, Arnold L. Lehman, filed a federal lawsuit against Giuliani for a breach of the First Amendment. The museum eventually won the court case. As popular with the hipper generation as pop art was, it still held controversy and was disdained by older and more conservative generations. Pop art was often paired with the underground alternative subculture that was happening in the 60s. Many people who were associated with pop art, such as many of those who worked with Andy Warhol, took excessive drugs and participated in untraditional, sometimes pornographic behavior that was displayed and exhibited for an audience. Many critics hated pop art because it was often seen as pointless and lazy work that required little imagination or talent. Warhol even addressed this thought by naming his studio The Factory because of the simple work and unthoughtful, provoking execution of his so-called art. Some thought that pop artists were delusional because they emphasized unimportant, unproductive aspects of American life. While this was, to some extent, True, what the artists were trying to convey. Many believed that the focus of execution was not done for any reason at all. The 60s and 70s were times of social revolution whirlwind, as well as a political one. Some were angry that the artists were not using their influential ideas to help with some of the protests or causes that were going on during the time. Dada was controversial for a different reason. Unlike pop art, which was created to secretly mock the American consumer society, Dada had a purpose and a cause. This new form came out of Europe where the Impressionist era was just beginning to fade. 
Dada was unlike any other art form to its day. It emphasized the unemphasized. It glorified the ugly and opened the eyes of viewers to the objects in the world around. Them. An example of a Dada piece is called Fountain by Marcel Duchamp. It is literally a urinal with a signature R. Mutt on the side of it. This piece sparked incredible controversy, especially concerning the question of how art is defined. Like many other Dada pieces, Fountain was meant to inspire argument and intellectual thought. Some artists interpreted the piece to be sensual due to the courage of the porcelain. Some thought it was religious because the basic outline of the portrait of the Virgin Mary drew the shape of the toilet. The urinal was put under a scrutinizing light by artists, critics, and society alike. Many were angry and disgusted that it was even considered art. Artists like Duchamp created their pieces because they did not want society to find meaning or significance in art. They wanted their audience to see the object in front of them with no hidden meanings or techniques. Dada was anti-art. Dada is to aim to destroy traditional aesthetic values that art is historically represented. It was mostly in retaliation and protest against World War I, which many of the artists felt was capitalist and bourgeois. The Dada movement was highly influential to future artists and movements. Some of these include the social surrealism movement in the 1930s, pop art in the 1960s, and even street art in the 1980s. However, the reception of Dada was more than often negative. The most extreme example of the rejection of Dada art was actually by Adolf Hitler, who, ex who exiled modern artists whose work was considered a threat to German culture. Many of the modernist and Dada work was either buried or burned, as he feared that the strange and untraditional styles and themes of the work would hinder society. Other critics included art magazine reviewers, artists, politicians, critics, and a fraction of society in general. However disliked their work was in the past, though, the ideals of Dada had, and continue to have, a lasting impact on modern art. Today, art is generally seen on a daily basis through the internet, advertisement, and media. While it may be difficult to categorize a specific artistic movement while it is happening, there is no doubt that both Dada and pop art have influenced a very prominent art movement that has been evolving in America, as well as the rest of the world since the 1970s. Street art. It is as controversial, if not more, than pop or dark. While a large part of street art is dedicated to aesthetics, many street artists use their work to spread a message or interact with the viewers. Controversy lies within the confusing definition of art versus vandalism. Hundreds of prominent street artists have been arrested for vandalism, usually on the grounds of destroying or defacing the property. Sometimes, though, the images are deemed too inappropriate or too graphic to be exposed. Some community authorities believe that street art encourages crime and suggests it decaying or failing in ways. While some artists are actually hired to do their work by a person or company that owns a specific building, many feel that their work is much more important. But their talents and ideas should be shared publicly and not suppressed by authority. One of the most famous modern street artists goes by the name of Banksy. Like many of the Dada artists, his work emphasizes the strength of lower classes and his discontent towards government and authority. Many street artists portray this in their work, such as Blake Lerat, Blue, and Fail. Like 60s pop art, many of these artists are against consumer society and government corruption. The most common mediums include spray paint, paint, stencil work, and Art will always be a part of human history, and with it will inevitably come controversy. It is Im almost impossible to know what the next movement in art will be, or if it will spark extreme reaction within society. But maybe that reaction is a clear marker that society itself is functioning properly. Intended controversial social art may be an offensive concept to some, but as long as that controversy is alive, art is doing something. It's getting people to think about issues in the most creative way possible.